have the Orion XTR 2250 Beast hooked up to dual uh, four ohm loads. So a four ohm load on each channel. This amp is rated at 250 watts uh, by, per channel at four ohms. So let's see how close we get or if we surpass. Oh, looks like we beat it a little bit. 257.6. 257.6. Here we have the 2 ohm stereo test of the Orion XTR 2250 Beast. And one thing I'm going to zoom out real quick that I can tell you is this joker is hot. We had some eggs we could uh, fry them up anyway let's get back to the numbers here and see what she does at two ohms stereo both channels driven 40 hertz Ooh, we got distortion 380.8 any higher than that we get solid distortion so 380.8 watts per channel so much for 500 watts all right here we have the orion xtr 2250 the beast at four ohms bridged mono we're expecting a thousand watts according to the ratings. 40 hertz test tone. Crank that baby up. Seven hundred and ninety-eight watts. Anything more than that, we're getting distortion. And we're pulling right at a hundred amps of current. and since this amp is called the beast we're gonna assume it can handle a two ohm mono load right one ohm stereo let's find out see if she blows up forty hertz detect five hundred and fifteen point two watts and we're pulling hundred and eleven amps so much for it being a beast So now we're going to try the Volts RMS output from one channel. See what kind of voltage we get at the speaker terminal. This gives us an idea of how much dynamic power the amp has. Looks like 38.5 volts RMS. At only about 7 amps. Alright guys, I already know what you're thinking. Uh, this amp, you know, we've always heard, hey, it's 12 to 1500 watts. I mean, this thing's way underrated, right? Well, maybe not so. Um, as you can see, my test results, I got just under 800 watts bridged at 4 ohms, where the amp is rated at 1000 watts. Now, some of you may be saying, well, it's your test parameters, it's how you do your test, you know, this is not accurate. Well, actually, I beg to differ because I'm going to show you an October 1991 Car Audio and Electronics where they tested the Orion GS500 
which is an older generation of the same amp, the XTR2250. And as you can see here on the screen, they got 790 watts bridged at four ohms. Now they were using a 12.5 volt source for their power, but this amplifier's power supply is regulated so you're not going to see a big difference there between 12 volts and 15 or 16 volts even. Alright guys, well next up what we're going to do is we're going to hook the uh, Orion XTR2250, the beast, up to some speakers and we'll see how it does powering some subwoofers. So that's coming up next. This is Big D Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com. I'm out of here!